Today, we will examine the artwork of one of the 20th century's most prolific artists, Lois Milo Jones. Born in Boston in 1905, Lois Milo Jones began her career at the School of the Museum of Fine Arts, graduating in 1927 with a diploma in design. Her paintings reflect the areas in which she lived, traveled, and studied. Jones was a key contributor to the Harlem Renaissance, an influential movement of African American art, literature, music, and theater. The movement emerged after the First World War and was active through the Great Depression of the 1930s until the start of the Second World War. Most of the artists associated with the movement lived and worked in the predominantly African-American neighborhood of Harlem in New York, which became a great cultural hub. These artists asserted pride in black life and identity and rebelled against inequality and discrimination. In 1937, Jones received a fellowship to study in Paris at the Julian Academy of Art, where she produced many watercolor paintings. Jones cherished her time in Paris as she felt fully accepted in society. She felt the French people appreciated her paintings and treated her with respect. Her paintings from this era were mainly landscapes and cityscapes in the Impressionist style. In total, she completed approximately 40 paintings during her time at the Academy. After her time in Paris, Jones was granted an extension of her fellowship to travel to Italy. In Italy, she studied classical Renaissance art and started to incorporate classical elements in her own paintings. When she returned to America, she became a highly esteemed instructor at Howard University, where she taught watercolor painting classes. It was at this time, Lois Milo Jones developed her signature style, blending elements of classical art, modernism, cubism, and African art, resulting in a unique look that was all her own. Jones became a link from the Harlem Renaissance movement to a new modern expressionist movement. Inspired by Haiti are probably her most widely known works. In them, her affinity for bright colors, her personal understanding of Cubism's basic principles, and her classical influences reach its pinnacle. This coincided with the Black Expressionistic movement in the United States during the 1960s. By the 1970s, style evolved even more to incorporate vivid African-inspired colors, bold patterns, and two-dimensional figures, which helped create a sense of exotic wonder, as evident in her 1977 masterpiece, La Vapor. The title is a reference to Josephine Baker, who is known for being the first woman of African descent to star in a major motion picture and to become a world-famous entertainer. Josephine Baker is also noted for her contributions to the civil rights movement in the United States and for being an inspiration to generations of African American women. This artwork by Lois M. Jones is a tribute to Miss Baker. By the 1980s, Jones was a well-established, highly esteemed American artist. 
She gained fame and prestige, and her paintings were well sought after by museums, collectors, and art enthusiasts alike. And on July 29, 1984, Lois Jones Day was declared in Washington, D.C. In the 90s, she returned to France once again, where she revived her previous impressionistic painting style. Only this time, her landscapes were painted with a wider color palette, reflecting her Haitian and African influences. In her final years, Lois Marilyn Jones made Washington, D.C. her home. This is where she resided until her death on June 9th, 1998. Working for more than seven decades in a vast range of styles, Dr. Lois Melu Jones enjoyed an incredible career that drew inspiration from France, Haiti, Italy, and Africa, as well as her native New England. Although Jones's experience of being a black artist in America extends from the Harlem Renaissance to the roots movements of the 1980s, her art always remained more personal than political. Regardless of race or gender, Lois Miley Jones was one of the premier artists of the 20th century and an artist you should know.